Super sig figs also tell you how to round your answers when you've completed your calculation. So, for example, if you're doing a multiplication and division problem, the rules for sig figs tell you your answer should be rounded to the same number of sig figs as the least number of sig figs that you used. In this density calculation, the numerator has five sig figs and the denominator has three sig figs. The calculated calculator answer will give you a whole bunch of decimal places that don't all have meaning. The answer should be rounded to the smallest number of sig figs, which in this case is three. So the one, the two, and the six are all meaningful digits, and we're going to round that six. So this answer is going to be 1.26 grams per milliliter. We round the six down to a six because the digit to the right of it was less than five. If this digit to the right had been five or greater, we would have rounded that six up to a seven. Addition and subtraction problems are a little bit different. What you want to do in these problems is line your numbers up vertically, as I have here. Then you want to underline the last sig fig to the right. So in the top number, it's here, and in the bottom number, it's here. The rules for sig figs tell you round to whichever one of those two is farther to the left. So in this case, it's two places after the decimal point. This nine is going to be rounded up because the digit to the right of it is five. So instead of 18.79, the correct answer is 18. Point eight zero. A mixed calculation involves both of those rules in the same problem. The key to these is to keep all the digits in your calculator. You don't want to round until you get to the very end of the problem. Here's a mixed calculation. You have a subtraction in the numerator, so you have a subtraction problem and a division problem. If you look at just the subtraction part, we would follow the rules, line up the numbers vertically, underline the last sig fig to the right, and round the answer here. This would be 0 0.980, because we would round the 0 down, because the number to the right of it is a 4. We know this number has three sig figs when we round it, but we're not going to round it until the very end. So I'm going to underline that last sig fig, and I'm going to write down that there's three sig figs in this number, but I leave all of those digits in the calculator and then do the division. When I do the division, I follow the rules for multiplication and division. Three, dig three sig figs and six sig figs. The answer should have the smaller number, which is three sig figs. I have some leading zeros in front that I know are not significant, so I start counting at the first non-zero digit. The 5 will be significant, so will be the 0, and so will the 7. And I'm going to round that answer 0 0.0507, or in scientific notation, I can move the decimal over two places to the right and get 5.07 times 10 to the negative second.